In this video, we are looking at some tips on how you might pre-flight your iPad for ForeFlight Mobile before you get in the airplane to depart. We'll cover how to be sure you've downloaded and stored all the pertinent chart data for your mission, how to be sure you've got the iPad optimized for use in flight, and some neat iPad tips from Apple that you may or may not be aware of. Let's begin by looking at how to be sure you've downloaded and stored the pertinent chart data. Please remember that if you have not yet purchased a ForeFlight Mobile license, you will not be able to download and store the chart data. You will be able to see everything when you are online, but not save it for future use. For those of you that have purchased a license, you'll start by selecting the More tab here in the lower right of the screen. You'll see a list of areas that you may access here, and you should make sure that you've selected Downloads. You'll see your download settings for the United States, Canada, Asia, and South America, if that applies. Simply select the country, then choose what information you'd like to store and select the state or states. You'll see a check mark next to the state so that you can be sure it's selected, and when you proceed back to downloads, you will see all of your requested data is available for download. Simply select the green download button to begin. It's a good idea to download all of the charts you will need the night before and fully charge your iPad while you're at it. When it comes time for you to depart, you'll typically want airplane mode off and be sure that Wi-Fi and cellular data is turned off as well. That is done here through your iPad settings. Now, even though your iPad is not connected, you've got a fully charged iPad with all of the charts you'll need for your flight stored on the device. Once airborne, there are a few handy iPad features that you'll want to know about when using ForeFlight Mobile. The iPad supports portrait and landscape orientations. When you rotate an iPad from one orientation to another, an application typically alters its user interface to better take advantage of the space supplied. Having the screen content rotate when you rotate the iPad isn't always a good thing. Rotation lock is helpful for preventing terminal procedure rotation or accidental rotation in turbulence. Fortunately, you can choose when the screen rotates and when it does not. There are a few methods for locking the orientation of content on your iPad screen. A physical switch is located immediately above the volume buttons on the right side of the iPad. When switched on, this prevents an application from changing its orientation as you change the orientation of the iPad. On some iPads, this switch instead functions as a mute switch. You can change this function back to a lock switch by using the iPad's Settings application. Tap General and use the options in the Use Side Switch section here to select Lock Rotation. If this section is not displayed, you may need to update your iPad's version of the iOS operating system to enable it. Double tap the circular physical home button and slide to the left in a fast app icon list that pops up to find the rotation lock soft button. This method is not available if you have the physical slider switch set to manage the screen lock. ForeFlight Mobile also provides a soft lock switch on the procedures viewer for more flexibility. There is also a brightness control accessible from the iPad's settings app. This is helpful for reducing brightness at night. If that brightness control is not sufficient, Further reduction can be gained within the ForeFlight Mobile app by using the Brightness slider in the More view. For more information, please check out our blog or website, and as always, email any questions to team at ForeFlight.com. From all of us here at Team ForeFlight, thank you.